I love his face. He's kind of making the. Noise. You know what I'm saying? Kind of derpy. I would say he's derpy. Is he a killer whale? Yeah. It's a derpy killer whale. What is going on everybody? Here we are, another video review, and this one is an awesome one. I mean, look at what we have. We have an entire case of the all new, soon to be released, Designer Con Dunny Series. Or is it saying here, Designer Con Mini Series. Is it because they aren't dunnies? I don't know. But they're calling it a mini series. And uh, I am very, very excited for this. Uh, Designer Con holds a place near and dear to my heart. I've been going there since 2006 as a fan. 2008 was the first year I exhibited. And up until 2014, we exhibited every year there. It was awesome. Had so much fun. Um, and then life came along. I had my little baby girl. And uh, I just don't have the time to dedicate all of my resources to booths like I used to. So um, here I am doing video reviews instead of getting ready for DesignerCon, which is by the time you see this very very soon um so designer con mini series the new dunnies uh so this was curated by ben goretzky the homeboy behind designer con and 3d retro um and he is um behind getting the artists involved with this who who uh have designs in this series. Oh, there's nothing better than cracking open that plastic. There we go. So speaking of artists, this is gonna be a long video, so you guys can fast forward if you want. You can kind of see some of the, or all of the designs, some, because there's some mystery ones, but with their ratios. Nice basic artwork by none other than Ragnar. That is really cool. Cool they got Ragnar to do it. The bottom, designed with love. That's a little kid robot bomb. And then here you go. Here are all the artists in this series. We got Christopher Lee, The Beast is Back. Um, Greg Crayola Simpkins, Def. Flat Bonnie, Hyperactive Monkey, Paul Frank, John Paul Kaiser. Scott Tollison, Kano, Chet Zar, and Ragnar. All their respective logos. Um, most have been involved with Designer Con in one way or another. Some um, OGs I wish would have been in there. Like Joe Ledbetter, I know he was... Uh, God, he probably was at the first one too. Who knows, Designer Con Series 2 maybe, right? Maybe Joe didn't have enough time to do design. They might have asked him. But here we are. Cause so check this out. What's going on here? Some of these boxes are in backwards and stuff. Interesting. So do I start? Where do I start? I'll set this off to the side so you guys can still kind of see where I'm pulling from. And we'll just start cracking them open. So you can see who it's by right there. Dev Ragnar. Let's shut Zar. Oh man. I can't wait to open these. Alright. Without further ado, let's get into the case opening. Got a nice sharp knife. Which one do we pull first? What? 
got the Dap one. Oh, so sick. Sculpted. So, this is a throwback for sure to, man, I don't even know, S Series 2, LA Series? I don't even know when when the depth one was released. But they did the 8-inch ones. Sorry for my, my Dunny trivia on the fly. But um, it comes with a card. And if I'm not mistaken, this is new because it ha actually has a sculpted mouth. The other one was just pad printed. I love it. I absolutely love it. Starting out um, really good. So let's put him over there. Throw this trash on the ground. Let's get into the next one. Well, I hope you guys um, who are watching this, hope you guys can make it at the designer con always a fun time looks like we had a little mishap here the card got smashed in there Ugh. okay we saved it kind of oh crayola nice which one that is oh before i forget that one was Two out of 72, so that one's actually pretty rare. I'm not mad at all. And this guy, oh my gosh. Look at that, so cool. I love his face, he's kind of making the noise you know what I'm saying kind of derpy I would say he's derpy is he a killer whale yeah it's a derpy killer whale his name is Claude from the pod so good dude the first two awesome awesome I'm just going right across the front here Next, I am pumped up for this. Yeah, cut it, crack it open. Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Oh snap! What? Oh my gosh! This is literally a plush dunny. Um with a decon tag. Oh my gosh. Obviously it's flat Bonnie. Okay, so that's that design? I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so cool. I almost wish I would have seen, um, or it would have been like a hard dunny with like a um, like a plush outer coat or something but I think if that's the one that is 3 out of 48 ratio that is just wild that is so cool alright decon hang tag shout out to Flat Bonnie for getting a dunny and it's plush, how fun is that? He stands, look at that, he stands pretty good. So no dupe so far. I probably just jinxed myself by saying that. But uh, you never know when you open up cases. Oh, nice, the mascot. By Scott Tollison. So this is Vincent, right? Nice block head, just like his uh, 
illustration. So Scott has been doing the mascot for, I want to say, eight years? Maybe? Nine years? Because the first mascot was actually done by Christopher Lee, the Beast is Back, who actually has a figure in the series, and that was Vinny, the mascot. Um, but Vinny grew up into Vincent. And Scott has done an outstanding job um, theming him out every year. I love this little dude. Super unique. I love it. What is his ratio? He is 3 out of 24. Vincent. Nice work, dude. Scott is one talented mofo. I'll tell you that much. Okay, next. So I didn't jinx myself, no dude. Oh, just jinxed myself. There he is, there's a dupe right there. All right, we'll set him off to the side. I'm take a little drink of water. Next. Do, 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 do. Love it. Uh oh. We got a whole gang of these dudes. What was it? Three out of twenty-four. So this is holding true to the ratio. Yeah, three out of twenty-four. So in a case, you get three of these. All right. I got three. Let's not get any more. Stay away, Vincent. You were cool at first, but now you're getting kind of lame. Not really. Um, opens it up. Alright, got another dupe. It's another fun one from Crayola. How many, what's the ratio on him again? Him again, him again, 2 out of 24. So yeah, hopefully we won't get another one of him. Come on, ratio, stay true to your numbers. Trying to get through these fast guys because I know I don't want a long video. And we have JPK. Nice cracking. Always a fun nautical theme. Look at that. The tentacles coming up the head. The boat. Nice. You can see the the cracking on the body. Compass on the back. Right on. Fun. Fun design. These two can kind of uh, go together. Nautical. Sea themed. The Derpy Orca and the Kraken. Okay. Uh, why am I putting him over there? We're going to put him right there since we haven't pulled him yet. And next, what was his um, ratio? Ratio, 2 out of 24. So, we should get another one of those. If the ratios hold true. What? Are you kidding me right meow? What is going on here? This is obviously a chase. Or is it? Is it black? Oh, there it is. No, it's not a chase. One out of 24. This is the red version. Okay. One out of 24. So, even though it's not a chase, it is still, I mean, you get one out of every case. So I'd say it's kind of a rare. Nice, I dig the red version. Fun, fun, fun. All right. Next. It's kind of off camera. I'll move them all inside in a second. Once we get through them all. And 
Another flat Bonnie. Which one is this? It's a flatty in a shark suit. Don't eat me. Oh, he's a little shark fan. Look at the crabs. That is adorable. Oh my gosh. Um, Alright, so is this one on there? Yeah, 2 out of 24. So we should get two of those. That is super cute. That little shark fin is awesome. Nice little touch. All right. Almost down the first layer. And we have a dupe. A dupe a dupe. A dupe a dupe a dupe. Let's set you off to the side, flat bonnie dupe. Next, yeah, it's nice having a sharp knife to do this. Come on, yeah, got Kano's. All right, what's going on here? Really nice. Got like headphones on, they're sculpted on. You see that? Volume bar, yin yang. A little Bruce Lee homage. Because, you know, Kano, right? So that's uh, Kung Fu Kano. And the ratio is 3 out of 48. So if you buy two cases, you're going to get three of these. I like the water tower up there. Just seen that. The rattle can. Aerosol. Dig the face. Unmistakable style. Kano. Nice work, dude. Alright. Next. Man, this one is tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. We're on the bottom row. Oh, sweet. Julius. Congratulations, you found my dunny. Even if you weren't looking for it. Paul Frank. Aww. There he is. Nice, simple, classic though. Love Paul Frank. Love that he's been involved with the designer toy scene for so long. Um, it's fun. Fun, fun stuff. Julius the monkey. <laughs> do not know. Find out. Oh, we got a dupe. A dupe, a dupe. Julius again. All right. It's the nature of the game. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So these are going to release, I believe, for the first time at DesignerCon um, via Kid Robot's booth. 2010 is their booth. Uh, so Friday, November 16th is the uh, preview night, and that will be the first time you can get these, I believe. And then I think, I, I, I'm hoping they'll be available online for everybody else that can't make it to DesignerCon. Um, oh, I see pink. Hey! We got a little... This is definitely a chase. I think. I hope. No, it's not. Man, I need to pay more attention, don't I? So that's Julius Bunny Pink. 1 out of 24. And we got the other one, which is Julius Bunny Blue. 3 out of 24. Cool. So we got the brother. The pink version. Fun. All right. Are we pulling? Oh, no, I'll go this way. There we go. Yeah. All right, what do we need? 
We need Chris Lee, we need Drums, Hyperactive Monkey. I want the blue guy. I hope that's the blue death. We need the Chetsar. There's some of these. We need the Ragnar. Man, we need a lot. Yeah, dude. So pumped for Jerome to get his dunny. Finally. That is so cool. There's an accessory. Vasa's Das. Oh, it's like a cute little... I don't even know what it is. Turnip? <laughs> oh, it's a dumpling. I think. Because, you know, dumplings are in this year. 2018. Maybe I'll do that later. Oh, come on, get in there. There we go. All right, so he's holding on to his dumpling. hey -ya! Another one who has just unmistakable style. The hyperactive monkey brand from Jerome is just so cool. So much fun. My daughter loves the books that he does. Makes sense because he has two daughters of his own. Next. Next, yeah. Oh, what was a hyperactive monkey? Three out of 24. Okay, goes right there. Well, and it looks like we got a dupe. A dupe, a dupe, a dupe. There's a dupe. That off to the side. Move on to the next one. So, how many of you that are watching this went to the first Vinyl Toy Network VTN 2005? If you did, leave a comment below. Let me know if you did go. Oh yeah, I was hoping for this. This is, I'm really excited about this. Um, before I even got into collecting toys, um, I was a huge fan of Chet's work, following it through uh, his, his stuff with uh, the band Tool. So it's uh, so cool to see this figure come out um it's so iconic with chet so the hat comes off dude this is so cool i love it look how cool that is really really dope that is a cool dunny based off of his this painting right there. Pretty rad. Congrats, Chet. That is really neat to have you in the, uh, the Kid Robot universe. Oh, what is the um, ratio on that? It's one out of 24. So I'm glad we pulled that. Next is, so far so good. I'm really happy with this case. Ragnar. Hill guy's rad. With his tongue sticking out. There's Ragnar's artwork right there. Ragnar's Dunny. And his Dunny card. Dunny Decon. Oh, I see what it is. It's a little kid in pajamas. At least, I think. Maybe? Oh, that's not eyes. Sorry. It's late. <laughs> so it's a monster. Really cool. I, I dig the eyes on the ears. I like when that, that happens. I think I've seen a few other Dunny designs over the past years that have that. And that is three out of 48. 
And we're hitting a lot of those 3 out of 48s. It's going to be interesting to see if uh, we we'll get a lot more dupes. We will see. We have, what, four more plus this one? So five more. Come on, fresh. We want fresh. And it's a dupe. Okay. Woo, that one smells real good. Like super fresh vinyl. Hmm. It's times like this, I wish we had smell o vision. That smells really good. I like the nothing like the smell of fresh vinyl in the morning. Or in the evening. My best early urban impersonation. Oh and we have another dupe. Shaolin style. Only three left. Are we gonna pull any shockers here? Any ones that made me go, what? Oh, what is that? What? A duplicate. JPK. Oh, that one already. Cracking. The cracking. And next, we have second to last. Om Om Shabai, Om Om Shabai, Om Om Shabai, be something good. Hey. We pulled the alt version. This is like the the bad the bad dude Hulk Smash version. Man, that dumpling is stuck in there. Look at that guy. Green. What's the ratio on him? So his brother is three out of twenty-four. And the green one is three out of forty-eight. So we have one. Dunny to pull left. I want that one. We need that one. We need that one and we need that one. But we have the others. Alright. Let's put this little oh he's got a his dumpling is purple. But he's a happy dumpling, even though he's purple. I like this colorway. Oh, tight fit. Come on, open up your little fist. There you go. Hey, buddy. All right. Put you back here with your friend, your brother. All right. And lastly. Final one. It's the final countdown. Or the vinyl countdown, huh? Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. A nice glow in the dark chase. Right on, JPK. I dig it. So I'm guessing that one is... Either that chase or that chase. Oh well, didn't pull the depth, but it got the green one, which I'm stoked about. There we go. Right on. Designer Con Dunny Series. Let me, um, let's go and check this out. They are such a fun series. 
Uh, let's crack this down. Move this over here. All right. So here you go. Those are the ones that we pulled. Nice, huh? Fun series. The chase. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching this unboxing. If you like it, leave a comment below. If you don't like it, leave a comment below. <laughs> and please share, like, subscribe, you know, do all that stuff that YouTube does to help us get more subscribers so that we can reach that magical thousand subscriber mark and get some AdSense going for this account. That'd be fun. See if we can't parlay it into some uh, little, little bit of little cash to, to help the website keep going. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I always appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing or this unboxing, these these unboxing. Um, yeah, until next time, uh, you know what I say. Peace. And I'll see you at Decon with some hair grease. Thank you, Kid Robot. You guys are rad. Until next time.